msikilizaji kuangalia na nimeshikilia gazeti langu la pili hapa kwenye mikono yangu msikilizaji gazeti ambalo nalipokea for free by the way mm-hmm. and uh, napenda taarifa ambazo mmeziangalia friday here leo you should get yourself a copy kinoti amekuja juu kabisa naongelea kuhusiana na mkubwa wa DCI Kenya mbaya anasema kwamba wauaji hawapaswi kurithi mali yoyote hey. 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 akiongea chini ya chabu zake Cohen eh kabisa anasema wauaji hawapaswi kurithi mali yoyote anasema the law the succession act debate appears to be a hot potato that most lawyers are not keen to discuss openly kwa maneno yake pale LSK president Allen Gichuhi anasema namna hii That is the law and there is no shortcut about it if you found guilty of murder you cannot benefit from your victim's estate Oni LSK president Allen Gichuhi wow kwamba ukipatikana na hatia ya mauaji basi uwezi kurithi utajiri wa uliemuua I'm telling you kwa nini uwe jamani mtu kwa nini uwe in the first place alikuwa anakunyima hiyo mali ama kwa nini uwe think about it before you do it by the way manake inaweza kukuingiza tabani zaidi taarifa nyingine ambayo nimeiona kwenye gazeti la PD ambayo imenifurahisha zaidi na inanishangaza na bado natafakari hadi kufikia sasa ni page 6 ukipata gazeti lako la PD fungua page 6 very important governance propose ugatuzi initiative to widen executive hii ni proposal sasa ya governance unataka iingie ndani ya proposal yoyote ile ambayo ileta referendum haya maswala ma governor anataka pia yawekwe ndani wameongea kuhusiana na national treasury pale wanasema kwamba iwe extremely independent na kwamba iwe inapeleka pesa ama mgao wa pesa katika counties hata kama county haijamaliza ile pesa ya last time Mm-hmm. Usual elections pale wanasema kwamba IEBC to be developed into 47 counties. Nafikiri wanamaanisha kwamba IEBC iwe inaweza kufanya uchaguzi kwa county na imalizie ule uchaguzi pale kwa county. Isiwe kwamba tio oh, kura zinapelekwa national sibini a ah, uchaguzi wa kwa mfano Lamu county okay. uishie hapo hapo. Na matokeo yatoke hapo hapo. Na gavana chaguliwe hapo hapo na ishi hivyo. Si kwamba hiyo oh, imepelekwa tena national law. Hiyo ah, ah. wamesema hawataki. Alafu county assembly pale wanasema terms and conditions applicable to member of county assemblies with necessary modifications. Alafu pia kuna story nyingine pale ambayo nimeipenda zaidi pale kuhusiana na masuala ya kura ambapo wanasema kwamba kila mkenya mwenye miaka 18 iwe ni sheria kwamba lazima apige kura. Eh? ukiwa na miaka 18 iwe ni sheria kwamba lazima upige kura it is your first duty as a kenyan to participate and you must be involved in this duty the election process yes you must vote <coughs> let me tell you why by the way mimi nakubaliana nayo kabisa mm-hmm. unajua tukipiga kura tunapiga kura tunamaliza lakini wale viongozi tuliowachagua huwa hawafanyii kazi wale waliopiga kura peke yake ndio sasa wewe umepiga kura haukupiga kura bado huduma utazipokea Utazipokea upende usipende. Why can't you be part of it? Be part of it. You must be part of it. So ukiwa na ID uko 18 years, uingizwe kwa kura kabisa na ushiriki kura kabisa. Na usiposhiriki ufungwe. Ufungwe wewe ndani tu ama usaidii. Una kwa nini? Usaidii wewe ni kumbaf. So rais ni wetu tumemchagua sisi. Mm. E, governor tumemchagua sisi. Wewe uko pale tu unapokea huduma za governor uko tu pale tu. Toka hapa kabisa. Toka kabisa hama wende Uganda. Enda uko nyole huko. Naipenda sana hiyo story msikilizaji kwenye e, gazeti lako la pili unaweza kuipata. Alafu Daily Nation unasema why battle for Kibra threatens handshake. Na hii ndio issue ambayo tuko tunajadili jana tukiwa hapa na Jalas. Nasema what Threaten handshake hao. Vile ulikuwa unasema tu hapo jana ati ah handshake imevunjika. Handshake haiko. Si Raila amekuwa kibra jamani akipiga kampeni ya Imran. Amekuwa pale akipiga kampeni kabisa ya Okoth kabisa throughout. Hiyo haiku threaten handshake until uhuru ya kiongozi wa jubilee alipomuunga mkono candidate wake sasa oh handshake imekuwa threaten. Sasa jamani kwani handshake this one sided? 
Wacha tuongoje vile itakuwa. Ah jamani msiwe hivyo. Wacha tuongoje. Ah, Taarifa nyingine ukurasa wa sita wa gazeti hili uh-huh. Wairimo anasema I won't attend reading of my husband's will. Kwa nini jamani? Anasema last wishes of Dutch tycoon will be read today mm-hmm. ahead of his burial on Monday but widow has distanced herself from it. Mm-hmm. Anasema hatakuwa katika ile shughuli ya kusoma ile will ya bwana. Si lazima kuwe pale ndajue mzee amemwachia nini jamani. Si ndio bwana. Mm-hmm. Amesema yeye hatakuwa kabisa. Mm-hmm. Ni vizuri akiwa pale. Ajue. Asome. Eh. Isome. Ipatikane. Eh. Kohen. Eh. Eh. Kohen. Yes. Amemwachia nini jamani? Yes, yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Sijui kwa nini, sijui kwa nini kama hataki kuwa pale. Sijui kama mm-hmm. ashaiona ile will labda ama mm-hmm. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I have no idea. Lakini ingekuwa mm-hmm. kama mke wake, mm-hmm. it's important awe pale. Mm-hmm. It's very important awe pale.